There are a lot of people who say that of all the natural wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon is the greatest. The canyon is going to speak to us of the grandeur of God, of His righteousness, of His mercy and grace. There is another story which has arisen. It's a story that's told in our schools. It's a story that in essence says there is no God. Noah is 600 years old. The floodgates of the heaven were opened, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. Picture that water in the tsunami scrubbing the surface of the earth, dissolving it. Peter talks about the fact that this event destroyed the world at that time. So we're actually kind of sitting in the midst of a very large graveyard. We really don't like the notion, all of us, if we were honest, we don't like the notion that God would judge our sin. It's really important to talk about two worldviews. A naturalistic worldview will only allow evidence from within that box because there's nothing that exists outside of that box. Postmodernism would want us to think and believe that truth can contradict itself. You can have your truth, I can have my truth, they can be opposite, and that's okay. And here we see again, as so consistent throughout the entire scripture, Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. God brings mercy and grace and love into the midst of a horrible situation. We would like to bring to you the evidence that I believe supports this story. My prayer is that you're going to be transformed because of the one that the canyon is pointing us to.